Hello, YouTube viewers and random Spider-Man fans. Today we'll be reviewing this, which is the Spider-Man Homecoming Rapid Reload Blaster. And here it is in its box. At the top we get both Marvel and movie logos with an image of Spider-Man off to the side. It is the Rapid Reload Blaster, which is written in various languages for your help. While on the bottom corner is an image of a small boy playing with the toy. And man, that kid is really enjoying this thing, isn't he? I mean, calm down, mate. I'm sure it's great, but I doubt it makes you smile this much. It's just creepy. It's wrong. Make it go away. Anyway, the toy and its various parts are laid out well, but have no protective plastic covering. Well, over on the back, we get some details on its features, as well as that creepy, smiling kid again. So that does it for the box. Let's move on to the toy itself. Alrighty, so here we have the Rapid Reload Blaster. It doesn't really look like the web shooters seen in the new movie, so I'm guessing this is supposed to represent a similar type of wrist-worn gadget. Or not... I haven't seen it yet. It's quite big and bulky with red, black and silver decals to help it fit in with Spider-Man's costume. There's an activation button on the front which rests in the palm of your hand, which has a spider logo below it, and on the black button itself. The sides each have hinged flaps to help the toy fit flush against your arm, and there is a red reload sliding lever on the top. Finally, the underside features two black rubber straps, which are pulled across and then clipped into place in order to attach it to your wrist. Two grey cartridges also come with the toy. These feature some moulded detail on the tops with the Spider-Man logo in the middle. Man, Peter really cares about branding, doesn't he? Anyway, these house three Nerf darts each, which look pretty cool. They have blue rubber ends with, what a surprise, the Spider-Man logo on the tips and some black webbing on the foam body. These are attached to the toy by clicking them into place on the front. Now you're ready to fire some foam missiles from your wrist. To do this, pull the lever back until it clicks, then press the trigger button on the front down using your fingers just like spider-man this will cause one dart to shoot out at a time and the reload lever must be pulled each time before you can fire the next dart so let's go test it out no steven don't don't do it again no stop it being bad boy stop it no no don't stop it Remember kids, never fire darts or anything in general in people's faces. It's total prep behaviour and you'll lose all your friends. So why did I do it? Well, it's because I'm too far gone. But save yourselves, kids. Save yourselves. Anyway, we also get this belt clip, which contains yet more Spider-Man logo branding, and both of the cartridges can be placed into it. They don't really click into place, so can fall out quite easily. The idea behind it is that once you've emptied one cartridge, you can pop it out by flicking the reload button forward, then slamming the toy down into the belt clip, which will attach a new, fully loaded cartridge. It's a cool idea in theory, but I can imagine it being a little bit awkward at times. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, it has some great ideas, but ultimately it's just another gimmick toy by Nerf, and I think the novelty will wear off easily for some kids. Not this kid, of course. Look at him. He loves it. It's designed well, and it looks good, and I appreciate the unique Spider-Man themed Nerf darts, but it doesn't have much range, and the firing power can be quite weak. It can also misfire when reloading from time to time. As great as it is, I can't help but prefer the classic web shooter toys with the silly string cans. I actually used to have one of those. I wonder why I stopped playing with it when I was a little boy. Oh, that's right. A group of older boys pinned me down one day and shot some silly string into my face for about an hour or so. Now I'm deathly afraid of silly string. Maybe I'll just stick to annoying people with the Nerf darts instead. No, not again. No. No, stop it. No. Right. That's it. That's what you get! That's what you get! That's what you get! Do you want some more? Well, that was just horrible. Moral of the story is, don't shoot people in the face. It leads to bad stuff. Anyway, what did you think of this toy? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with my upcoming reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter as well. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.